Hello and welcome to another Tip Time with Moro. This one's gonna be pretty quick and dirty, but I think it might change your life on how you build a lot of things. Or I guess mostly just water tanks. So, here we go. So you would think that this is the most efficient way to build your water tanks, and it is. But what if I could tell you, you could save one whole space. Ooh. <laughs> It might not matter, but in, in, in certain cases, it's, it, it can make a huge deal. Because if you had one less row, then that's about the best that you can manage. In which case, you lose one whole water tank. And man, that's lame. But because of the unique design of the water tank, we can do something really cool. All you got to do is start out with some platforms. You place all the tanks on top like so. Delete the itty bitty little pieces in the walkway and you can hold shift to do it quickly without having to have that stupid little pop-up say yes or no every time throw down some stairs lower the view below the tanks and draw up some roads and those roads can go in either direction so you can put them this way or that way or whatever they'll exit any which way because they can walk underneath the platforms and then you have stairs going up there we go now you got the same amount of tanks in less space and they're easily accessible. They're all facing the right way. They're all facing the same way. They all look kind of cool and nice. You know, they're all, they're all awesome. This is, uh, it's great. It's great. I'm not going to take full credit for this because someone mentioned this in the comments in one of my videos and it blew my mind. So I had to make this video to show everyone else, but, but I will take credit for the next part. Next part, all me. <laughs> it's, it's the Moro system. One major issue that I've always had with this game is when you use the giant platforms, it's really, really hard to fit anything underneath. So once you have the platforms, then how, how do you make the space underneath useful? Because of the stupid column, it's actually really difficult to get a road in there. You see, all, mo almost all the buildings are too wide by three or four. So you need to get a road. Where does the road go? So the best that you can really do without going outside of it is like maybe, maybe like this. Like you can kind of stack it, right? But it doesn't even, see like that doesn't work. So you got to go forward because there needs to be a road going around to there. But I guess you could rotate it and maybe put it like that way, right? Like you could do that and then the road kind of goes in. It'll go still go around there. Or maybe you could rotate them backwards, but then you need a wall there. I mean, I guess you could rotate it back. So like, I mean, getting the path to things is the problem. But, but, but what if, what if, what if there was a better way? <laughs> it's not really a problem if you use the Moro system. <laughs> You'd have the same problem on top. On top, it's not as bad. But like this, like how do you, like that kind of manages, assuming you have a walkway on the right. If you have walkways here, then you can probably get to all of it. But it's not guaranteed because you're platforming and like not every situation is perfect, right? So as soon as I saw this platform system, I instantly thought like there's got to be a way to make this work for, for the big metal platforms to make it functional and make it modular. And so that it works every single time in any situation, always, no matter how much space is to the left or right. And that's the, that's my main, that's my top tip, top tip for tip time with Moro. Cause this, this, this side's a mess. So on the right side, I'm going to show you how I would do it. I'm going to start out with one. I'm going to set it up and then I'll walk you through the actual steps of doing the next one. And there we go. Which system looks better? What do you think? <laughs> Which one's easier to work with? Look at that. That system doesn't take any roads outside of itself. It doesn't go any extra. It is just the paths that are inside of itself and you can connect it from any direction and it doesn't matter. You can connect it here, there, there, whatever. And I even put a beaver statue. Everyone even gets a bonus. There's even room for a beaver statue. So I'm going to show you how to do that so you actually can see how I'm building it. It's a little it's a little fiddly. I'm not I'm not going to lie. It's not the simplest thing in the world, but the easiest way to do it is to just make a grid first, drop your water tanks and make sure the exits on the outside. You delete the extra pieces, row down some stairs instead, drop the elevation all the way down so you can see underneath, put roads, then you put the column inside so you can see everything. So that's level one is done. And then the next level, you just kind of do the same thing minus the middle. So you go again like that and then put the tanks, delete the extra platforms and drop the stairs and it's done. It's pretty easy. And that for it. Per platform, that's going to be eight, and they all connect, and you can fit as many as you want, however many as you want, without having to worry about, like, the orientation or anything else. You do still have to do the road on top, too. So you got you to make sure to use the elevation tool, otherwise it's going to be impossible. And once you're done, there's a handy little spot in the middle, and you can put a bush or a bench or a statue or whatever you want. Anything can go there. Here's a little shrub. We've got a statue. We've got a shrub. 
and the paths are connected and you can connect the paths in any direction you want and all of it works like look at that it's beautiful so there we go i mean look at it look at the difference between the left side and the right side it looks better which is by far the most important thing but it also functions better and the key thing here is that the space underneath is used perfectly there's no wasted space you can't fit any more than that. No matter how you fiddle or diddle or do whatever you want, this this works better. It works better. It's perfect. And you can just stack them however you want. You want to do three. If that's all you have room for, you do four, six, eight. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how many platforms can fit. However many can fit, each platform will give you eight more tanks every single time. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And you're welcome. You're welcome for the Moro system. It's really just these tanks that are the more system. The, the other thing someone else told me about, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to give them credit. You'll see it right now. <laughs> uh, and, while, and, while this, and while this is nice, the main thing it made me think of was like, there's got to be a way to figure it out to use the big platforms properly. Because up until now, I've basically been ignoring the large platforms because it's so annoying trying to figure out like how to make paths underneath and make it even. And even on top, even on top like this, this doesn't look good. We don't like that. We don't like that. This is beautiful. Look at it. I know you like it. I know you like it. Look at the symmetry. Look at it. <laughs> and even for regular tanks, even for regular tanks, I mean, it saves you a whole row and it just looks nicer too. I mean, it does. It just looks nice. It's all neat and tidy and you don't have that weird like edge path that is like makes a four way path that nobody likes, you know, it's great. And I hope you got something from this because it blew my mind. It really only works for these tanks because they have that little extra one space where you can put the stairs, but it's just, it's perfect and beautiful and I love it. And I love discovering new things about this game. And I, I hope, I hope everyone watches this and it blows their mind. <laughs> and if you've never been to my channel before, consider checking out my long running Timberborn series, which is pretty cool, I would say. <laughs> but aside from that, I'm Moro, like the video, subscribe if you're not, and I'll catch you guys next time.